we were lucky enough to be chosen by Johnson Controls to partner to put five large PV systems in here. Uh, basically, you've got the one megawatt system up on the roof. And one megawatt, that just means one million watts. It's actually one million, 16,400 watts of power up there. So basically the one megawatt system is, as you know, it's up on the south side, the south concourse up there. To start out, you've got a solar world module. Put out 175 watts, approximately 44 volts, 5 amps, okay? We had to take 5,808 of these things, get them upstairs, put them together, get them out on the roof. So once we got 5,808 of these things together, you put 12 of them together in a string. 12 modules, some of them have 13, but most of them are 12 modules. They're connected in series. Get maybe four or 500 volts out of them, we get something we can use, we get some meat, okay? So when you go up there, you'll see just this sea of modules, but they're put together in strings. Some strings might be 12 across this way, they might be like this, but we get at least 12 of them together. In series, so you get higher voltages. Then you take those and you hook 10 of them into a combiner box. This combiner box is about that large. It sits out on the roof. We've got 40 of those up there. All right. This is all DC power. They combine go into much larger wires, go into the inverter. Now all these small wires come into here and then we combine them into very large wires. Now those very large wires then go all the way to our inverters. Inverters are just simply a very large rectifier, if you will, it changes the DC voltage that these produce, changes it to AC voltage. That's what we use for power in here, okay? So we've got four 250,000 watt inverters up there. Four times 250 is one million. That's the way this works. So you take 10 of those combiner boxes into one big inverter with very large wires. We put these inverters in a room up there and they weigh about 4,500 pounds a piece. And there's four of them in this room. DC comes in over here. This is what Dave was talking about with the runs that are running all the way out to the far corner of the array. They're brought in here onto these buses. These are the AC buses here. Comes into the AC disconnect. And then is brought into the inverter section of the unit. But this is really the brains of the system. And all of these are just control relays and such and interfacing uh, electronics to control these switching circuits. We have over 127,000 feet of wire on this job. That's almost 25 miles of wire. There's a lot of wire up there. Uh, you gotta put it in conduit. So we've got over 21,000 feet of conduit. That's almost five miles of conduit up there. Uh, then because of your expansion joints, again, we had, we had to put expansion couplings in there. We've got over 300 expansion couplings in that conduit. Just to make sure, because this building moves so much. There's uh, 20,349 concrete blocks up there. Concrete blocks are 26 pounds a piece. There's also a device called a rapid foot attachment. There's 895 of these rapid foot attachments on this system at various points to physically attach this to the metal underlayment of the roof. This particular system made by Unirac is the only one approved so far to use what's called a WEEB, W-E-E-B. That stands for Washer Electrical Equipment Bond. So rather than stringing miles of this copper, uh, bare copper all underneath it, you use these weebs in between every single frame and it bonds them together. And we used 12,600 of those up there. It bonds this tray to this tray. There's a weeb washer right in here that physically bonds this frame to this frame. Are there fuses and, and fail-safe devices built into these systems? Yes, there are many of them, layers of, of safety devices built in. These systems are 100% uh, monitored by a system called Fat Spaniel. Uh, it's online. 